Hello, well done. <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist saying that. I know it was oh, it was just horrible, but I uh, guess that's what I decided to do. Um, now, what we're going to take a look at is we're going to run this little app. Um, it's not really going to do anything. I could show you this pretty simply in another form, but I just think that you kind of deserve to see it in an, well, in a virtual phone rather than just on this little screen here. Um, so we'll wait while it builds. Um, but while it's doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to strings. Now we've got the Hello World string still. Um, so you, if you've got your emulator up running, just choose the running device. If you haven't, just launch the emulator. It'll take some time. Um, but yeah, so that's popping up. Um, we still got the Hello World string from the start. I'm going to change this name to, um, well, I don't know. Um, I use, I think I use the name Chris in my Kali Linux tutorials. Um, so we're going to name it Chris. Um, Hello World. Uh, I'm Chris. Obviously, that's not my name, um, but you should know by now that my name's Dane, as my YouTube account is under the name Dane Tat, which I would have liked to change. I would have liked to change a lot of things on that, but <laughs> I really messed up a little. Um, so now it's still saying hello world at string. So ooh, it's interesting, it's because, yeah, it's not. So this is saying that it can't find the reference, but when it can't find the reference, it is apparently just playing everything out. I thought that it just would have shown up as a bit of an error. So we know that we've still got a string, it's just not. Um, hello world anymore. It is Chris. I should have remembered that. Don't try not to be case sensitive. Oh, try not to use capitals in it, but I did. Um, so yeah, as we can see here, it's a bit bigger than we would have liked. Um, we can drag this out to about 400 and see what happens. Yeah, so it's now extending over the screen a bit too much. Um, so we'll leave it at 300. That's fine, it's not great or anything, but if we look over here, we've got the text view at string Chris, so that's basically just saying that this is what string it's using, and in here is what the result is. It's a little annoying, but now we're going to run this, um, we've still got the hello world because we ran the app before making the changes, so don't worry about that, um, new button does absolutely nothing, but um, I want you all to hit control and F12. It changes it to the landscape view, but as you can see, uh, it's pushed everything down a fair way, so that's not what we want, um, and that is probably the biggest issue with the linear layout. Um, the relative layout and all that won't make a difference here, it'll just scale everything down so it's still in the same spot, but we don't want that either. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go over the layout, we're going to right click going to put in a new layout resource file and we're going to find where is it orientation now we'll add it and it'll be a landscape orientation and we want it to be activity underscore main now you can name this whatever you want but if you don't name it activity main it will not do what we want it to do so yeah it's popped up um it's taking a bit of time sadly um but what we're also going to do while we're here is we're going to create a new resource. Um, we want this to be the same, the exact same thing basically, and we'll have it as a landscape um, activity. Um, so what's going to happen here is nothing really. Um, it's my computer just sometimes takes a bit of time to worry about this. Um, so yeah, we've created two little layouts. Um, We've got the activity main and the land activity main with nothing in it. So we're going to add everything from the activity main into both of these. Just override everything. Don't really need it. And as you can see on the design, it's come up with the issue that we've had before. It says it's pushed everything down. Now I'm going to end the tutorial here because um, I believe I need to reset this whole thing before anything's going to work. So we'll end it and we'll come back for part two of this tutorial.